Um, I just want to know, too, like, was, at the time I was there, um, I just hope my performance and skill set, you know, showed off and that I did, an, you know, a good Why? job while I Why? was in the role. Why? They don't care. Who cares if you did a good job? They don't care. If your job, if you did a great, listen, if you did a great job, they'll find a way to keep you and put you in another role, whatever. So that should tell you all you need to hear. Why you, these people are laying you off over a Zoom. Why do you care? I would not care if I did a great performance. If they're not telling me that they laid me off because of my performance. But you could tell it's disingenuous though. Like that's not a genuine, you know what I'm saying? We're sorry we laying you off. No, you could tell that, oh boy's reading off a script, bro. This is all, he is, it's scripted. Ain't nothing in what he's saying is genuine at all. Not heartfelt. There's no loyalty, these companies, to, to their employees, bro. That's, so why are you asking about your performance? Come on, I wouldn't have no time for it. I'm going to give you a mouthful, and it ain't going to do nothing. It's not going to give me my job back, but you're going to hear what I got to say. I uprooted my family, and I was at the job for three months. Moved out of state and everything you got is laying me off. You tell me that was in the budget. Now, three months later, it's not in the budget. <laughs> this is how you speak your mind, bro. When you in a, when you in a meeting or you get called in, even on the job, getting laid off, whatever, speak your mind or you will be uh, treated accordingly. You know what I'm saying? They're going to treat you accordingly. If you don't speak up, they're going to think oh, you're a pushover. You have to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Do you go home and let your kids run over you? How can you go home? And you know what I'm saying? And, and and demand respect when you don't even demand it at your job, whether you're the boss or not. We're all adults at the end of the day. You're not going to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? So she's standing up for herself, and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And she's not letting them gaslight her. You ain't about to gaslight me and tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just tell me you laying me off. Don't try to gaslight me and make me seem some type. Man, I know I, I, I was told, I, listen, oh, my contract was good. My, my manager told me I'm doing great. I'm doing better than my teammates. You will come here some damn some performance BS, man. Cut it out. Again. Yeah, we are, <laughs> and we deeply regret the impact this decision right. may have on you. Shut up, script that, shit. I'm truly, very sorry. This decision is not a reflection on you as individuals. I also want to say you've been tremendous team members, colleagues, and friends to me and so many others. We are here to support you both personally and professionally as you navigate next steps. As we'll, we will begin deactivating all systems access at this time. Mm, mm, mm. At this time, I'll end the call. Damn, bitch. Damn, like, hold That's on. It. And they turned everything off. Oh, damn. That's the most cold hearted one I've heard so far. They understand, bro. These people have left jobs, right? They left jobs to go to the new jobs. Thinking it's gonna be better, all the way around, right? They assess the situation when you go when you leave a job, you go into a better job, whether it's because it's better people, more money, better benefits, whatever. Just to get to that new job, you left a job you was at for five years, go to a new job, and they let you go after three months. You know how traumatizing that is because you felt like you played every emotion in your head about the right move you're about to make and where you're about to go with it and then three months in you get fired after leaving a job you were secure at for five years i don't think that they understand the trauma that they're they're they really don't give a fuck about your life bro this everybody for themselves you know what i'm saying got people on here crying and shit and all over social media man because they're getting laid off and they so disingenuous and reading off fucking script. We know that's scripted. He ended, you hear the boy said what he said. And at this time we ended the call. He didn't want to, she, she had to say. Didn't give a fuck about her emotions, no her feelings, nothing. Anything we could do, nothing. Nigga said, bye. Yo, access, what? Nigga. Yo, what's popping, GE gang? It's your boy, Future Man. We back with another reaction video, man. First of all, I want to uh, show love to everybody that's tapped in with the channel, all the new subscribers. All the old subscribers still rocking with your boy. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? I know I've been on uh, my other channel, uh, turning up over there, but now we back full time over here, turned up on this channel. You feel me? Um, and if you notice the last, like, I ain't gonna lie. I've been going crazy. The last, I, I would say week, maybe week and a half. I've dropped like nine videos, maybe 10. So that's how you know we serious. 
And uh, they're all reaction videos. Well, most of them are reaction videos. You feel me? We on our we on our grind. We're talking about real shit. Uh, people getting repo. People quitting their jobs. People getting laid off. You know what I'm saying? People getting let go. You know what I mean? People tired of working. We're talking about it all. All real shit that's really happening. You know what I mean? We stand up to date on shit. And we're trying to make sure we stay out the way. We make sure we grind. We still make sure we got our money in case shit go left. Or in case we get laid off, we good. We know the shit's coming. So we got to be prepared. So... We laughing at our pain at the same time. We seeing the real shit that's going on. We we laughing here and there, but we ain't laughing at them. We laughing we laughing with you. You feel me? Uh, and then at the end of the video, man, um, all the I'll put the playlist playlist for all the reaction videos at the end of this uh, video. And uh, you can also go find it. Go to go to the playlist, tap it. All the reaction videos gonna be in one uh, one section for you guys, so it's easy to maneuver maneuver through the channel. You feel me? So, uh, like, once again, I want to appreciate all the new subscribers and all my old subscribers that's been rocking with the channel, man. We turn it up, and I hope I'm motivated and inspire you guys to get it done. I got a full-time job, 60, 70, 8 hours a week, and I still find time to come do my side hustle and laugh with you guys like we're in the living room watching this shit together. Now, let's go ahead and get into this video, man, of people getting laid off work, bro. Real shit. But they're getting laid off through Zoom calls. Ain't that some bull, man? I know I would have a whole lot to, to say if I was getting laid off over the over a Zoom call. You, ain't nothing you're gonna say is gonna make it no worse than what it is. They can't not give you your severance pay or whatever they offer you. Can't they cannot give it to you when they already laying you off over the phone? So I'm gonna talk. My, I would definitely talk my shit. Let's see if they talk shit and let's type it in the comment section and let's talk about it. So today has been fun. Eighty-five to ninety percent of my company has been laid off, and I was part of that. Shush. They told us via mass email so that's fun and this is even after meetings where they're like hey financially we're hitting our goals we're good let's talk raises let's talk more bonuses <laughs> it's a fun time to be in tech hi gabrielle hi hold on so they said the company was doing good the bonuses and raises gaslighting company was gaslighting their employees boy hey, gabrielle hi As of today, we know that this was a difficult decision, and we thought a lot about how our teams need to be reorganized, reimagined to best support our strategy and the business as a whole. I know this news is hard to hear, and that you may have questions, but I want to thank you for your contributions to the team. Um, regarding regarding the details of your exit. Okay. Um, so is this just like a company cut, you're saying? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm just like a little confused because why put the listing on if you don't have like the budget for the role? Because I like uprooted my life to move over here and now my job is getting eliminated after three months. Gabrielle, I can understand that that's, um, that, that would be a difficult thing to process. Um, these decisions are taken uh, at the time of your hiring. That was not part of the strategy, but this has been more recent. If you read in the trades today that this is happening company-wide, it's part of the company's broader strategy and not at the station level. Okay. Um, I just want to know, too, like, was, at the time I was there, um, I just hope my performance and skill set, you know, showed off and that I did and you know, a good Why? job while I Why? was in the role. Why? They don't care. Who cares if you did a good job? They don't care. If your job, if you did a great, listen, if you did a great job, they'll find a way to keep you and put you in another role, whatever. So that should tell you all I need to hear. Why are you, these people are laying you off over a Zoom. Why do you care? I would not care. 
if I did a great performance. If they're not telling me that they laid me off because of my performance. But you could tell it's disingenuous, though. Like, that's not a genuine, you know what I'm saying? We're sorry we laying you off. No, you could tell that old boy's reading off a script, bro. This is all, he is, it's scripted. Ain't nothing in what he's saying is genuine at all. Not heartfelt. There's no loyalty, this company, to, to their employees, bro. That's, so why are you asking about your performance? I wouldn't have no time for it. I'm going to give you a mouthful, and it ain't going to do nothing. It's not going to give me my job back, but you're going to hear what I got to say. I uprooted my family, and I was at the job for three months. Moved out of state and everything. You got to land me off. You tell me that was in the budget. Now, three months later, it's not in the budget. When you do the projections, man, they they for, they for not three-month projections, bro. The company don't do three-month projections. You know what I'm saying? Six months, a year, two, three, four years. So all of a sudden, my, my job rolls down in, in budget. Yeah, all right. Um, is there any feedback on that? This decision isn't in any way based upon your performance. Okay. Uh, this is just part of the overall company's uh, broader strategy. Okay. Uh She's crazy. Well, she having an anxiety attack. Look at her. <laughs> This shit is real, bro. Anxiety attacks and everything. Hey, you Brittany. like? Hi. Yes, she, I'm so she sorry. Off. Uh, my name's Rosie. I'm just uh, joining the call. Uh, nice to meet you, Monday HR team. Mm -hmm. Hi, she hot. She Hi. pissed. As she should be. Thanks for meeting with me uh, and Rosie. Um, we have an important meeting today. We finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where we have not met Cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. All right, come on, give it to um, him. Give it to so him. I started August 25th. I've been on a three month ramp. And then it was three weeks of December and then a week of Christmas. And then here we are. Um, I have had the highest activity amongst my team um, since I've started. I have had three contracts out, done a really great job managing my deals up until the very end that decided not to close last minute. Um, so I don't think that that makes a lot of sense for me in my Cloudflare journey here so far. Also, um, every single one-on-one -on -one I've had with my manager Every conversation I've had with him has, he has been giving me nothing but I am doing a great job. I have had great activity. I have really great meetings. I'm picking up the products very quickly. This is how you speak your mind, bro. When you in a, when you in a meeting or you get called in, even on the job, getting laid off, whatever, speak your mind or you will be treated accordingly. You know what I'm saying? They're going to treat you accordingly. If you don't speak up, they're going to think, oh, you're a pushover. You have to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Do you go home and let your kids run over you? How can you go home and, you know what I'm saying, and, and and demand respect when you don't even demand it at your job, whether you're the boss or not? We're all adults at the end of the day. You're not going to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? So she's standing up for herself, and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And she's not letting them gaslight her. You ain't about to gaslight me and tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just tell me you laying me off. Don't try to gaslight me and make me seem some type of man. I know I'll, I, I was told, I, listen, well, my contract was good. My, my manager told me I'm doing great. I'm doing better than my teammates. You'll come here with some down some performance BS. Man, cut it out. And um, things have been going really, really well. I make really great relationships with my clients. Um, so I disagree that my performance hasn't been. Um, I haven't met performance expectations um, when I certainly have just because I haven't closed anything officially. I hear you. Um, also, you. why are you doing this and not my Come manager? On. Not you know, we've never met, so this seems a little odd that my manager has no idea that this has been happening, and the director has no idea that this has been happening. So I'm just definitely confused, and um, yeah, I would love like an explanation that makes sense. Man, I like her. 100%. Um, real quick, let me carve out the, the two threads. Um, the ladder of why I'm on this conversation, I'll, I'll put that one the second half, and Rosie might be better to explain the process of who's giving this information in the prior piece, which is 
your uh, feedback and, and notes about your performance. So we add a little color context to that. So um, just for clarification, you are not being singled out on this. Your peers are also being collectively um, assessed on performance. This is a collective collaboration for Cloudflare. So I just want to clarify that piece. I won't be able to add any kind of specifics on numbers or... Wait, yeah, no, can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? All right, we have a fuck a team. Uh, How about me? I won't be able to go into specifics for numbers. Wait, why though? I just started, I've been working extremely hard just because I haven't closed anything that has nothing to do with my performance on a three month ramp with just one month with two ho major holidays in the middle. I don't think that has anything to do with why I should be let go, if that makes sense. So I really need an answer and an explanation as to why Brittany Peach is getting let go, not why right. Cloudflare Good decided team. to hire too many people and are now actually realizing that they can't afford this many people and they're letting that go. If that's the real answer, I would rather just you tell me that instead of making up some bullshit and telling hey. me that right before I lose my job. Come on, let's from talk to that him. Met before, Hello. If you can respect that. I fuck with her. I totally head. respect that, and I don't think Dom or myself today is going to give you any clarity or answers that's going to um, meet the expectations that you're communicating to us, Brittany. So I can't speak to. So if, am I getting let go for no reason? If you guys can't give me a reason, I'm happy to follow up with you separately oh, shut to up. give you the data that was calibrated. I'll need to speak with um, revenue leadership specifically to see if we can get that for you. But Dom and can I you do share not that with me that now? Meeting. I cannot share that with you right now, unfortunately. That's goofy. Yeah. It's understandable goofy. how you feel and your frustration. Cannot stress that enough. I have been working extremely hard. I, sorry, I just knew that this meeting was coming after knowing what's been happening with my peers and how extremely frustrated and upset everyone is. Um, I know you guys must not be able to understand that given the, in the positions that you are in and it must be very easy for you to just have these little 10 minute, 15 minute meetings, right. tell someone that they're fired completely and, go about your day. and then that's it with no explanation. That's extremely traumatizing for people. If you can imagine that. And I don't, I don't think that this is, it, it's, it's just very, very shocking. Very, very shocking. I have like really given my whole energy in life over the last four months to this job and to be let go for no reason is like a huge slap in the face from a company that i really wanted to believe in they still not gonna fuck can with i you. absolutely understand how you feel that way why you feel that way and i'll be honest with you there's nothing that we're going to say in this call in the time that we have that's going to undo the way that you feel right in this moment I personally will do everything that I can to give you as much specific information as I can after this call. I can't make any promises. Um, I understand where you're coming from. I can tell you that Dom and I do care. I understand the feeling that you have right now. Um, and I can't change that. So I'll just be honest. But why can't, so, but there, you guys have still not given me a reason why I'm being let go. Silence. Just by a lot. constant positive praise from my manager, great meetings that I'm having. Um, the amount of activity that I have has all been positive. I have not received any negative inclination. I have not been put on a performance improvement plan. Um, nothing. So and I, I cannot speak to what your manager has communicated to you directly. But that you should be the indication for, of that, for right. based on your attainment and leading indicators of data. I, that, bro, do you see how this shit, bro? <sighs> man, I, I fuck with this, this, this girl a lot, man, because she's sticking up for herself, man. They feeding her a bunch of BS and she knows it. They're not in a position. They easily can make these 15 minute calls to two, three, four, five, six, however many people and go about their day making their money, but they know goddamn well if they was in this position, they'd be asking the same questions as her. That's how, bro, that's, I just don't like disingenuous people. Be, gee, be genuine. Like, goddamn, like, is it that hard? I know a lot of people just care about they self. Goddamn, you work with these people, you know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck about them. I, bro, I know it's a job. I know what you guys going to say in the comment section. 
It's a job. I get it. That's why, and that's why I don't fraternize, bro. I don't want nobody from my job following me on Facebook, on social media, bro, because we don't really fuck with each other outside of work, bro. Because I know the minute that y'all feel like I screw up, y'all going to try to come at me crazy, and I ain't going for it. So I'd rather not be, you know what I'm saying, I don't need no fake friends. I didn't come to the job to get no fake friends or make friends. I came to get my money, get in, and get out. You know what I'm saying? I think once you learn that, once you go into a job and know, man, get your money, get in, and get the fuck up out of there, man. Don't go in there making friends. Don't go in there kiki and ha ha with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to stab you in the back and they're going to throw you under the bus. Where there's managers, other employees, owners, I don't care, bro. I don't, bro, it's, that's just life. You know what I'm saying? Get you, get in, get your money, get the fuck up out of there, man. They're going to feed you a bunch of bullshit. Then you're going to be hurting the end. You're going to have a bunch of questions that they're not going to answer because they read off scripts. It is what it is, man. Come on. Welcome. That is, that is the rationale. But I've been here for only a month after ramping, and that was during a holiday. So I don't understand what those – can you explain what those performance metrics are? Or is that just like a, a – a vague term to give to everyone that you're speaking to today. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll say that the the performance indicators and performance metrics are, while they are, we're not able to go into specifics, and we won't, there's no situation where we will be able to go into Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know, like, why, like, who you're talking to each day? Like, for every single... <laughs> 10, 15 no. minutes, do you guys even know who you're talking to? It's scripted. Like, why you're letting these people go? When you don't even understand like the kind of work and everything that they've put in, I hear you. And what you're saying, it just doesn't make it. It just doesn't make any sense that you guys have still not been able to give me a reason why I'm being let go. Just for, from a process perspective, your questions are valid. This isn't going to be the forum and the situation where we're able to go into the detail that you're but looking then, for. But then when? If it's not right as I'm getting fired, then it's certainly not going to be after when I'm no longer for, part of the Come company. on, for sure. You're not going to tell me after I got fired. I don't fired. think there's anything we can say in this moment or today, Brittany, that's going to change the way that you feel. And it's under, again, like understandable. I'm taking notes and feedback and we'll circle back. Yeah, I know. You did that for Nessie me too, but that's... Of the meeting. Um, Let's call her a big and the outcome of the situation today. So it may be best if we I do get into more of the specifics of what the next steps are, um, because I think it's clear that you have questions that we cannot give answers to. And if you'd be open to it, I'd love to move into what the next steps are so that you're not um, any further blindsided than you already feel. Okay. Thank you. Trauma. Traumatizing boy. Fucking with people's lives, bro. Uh, okay, God, I'm, yeah. Again, I'm really sorry that you're having this experience. Let me begin by saying we hoped we wouldn't be in this position again. Again. Yet we are. <laughs> and we deeply regret the impact this decision Bad. may have on you. Shut up. For that, I am truly very sorry. This decision is not a reflection on you as individuals. I also want to say you've been tremendous team members, colleagues, and friends to me and so many others. We are here to support you both personally and professionally as you navigate next steps. As we'll, we will begin deactivating all systems access at this time. Mm, mm, mm. At this time, I'll end the call. Damn, bitch. Damn, like, hold That's on. And they turned everything off. Oh, damn. Yeah, the most cold and hardest one I didn't heard so far. They understand, bro. These people have left jobs. Right? They left jobs to go to the new jobs. Thinking it's gonna be better. All the way around, right? They assess the situation. When you go when you leave a job, you go into a better job. Whether it's because it's better people, more money, better benefits, whatever. Just to get to that new job. You left a job you was at for five years, go to a new job, and they let you go after three months. You know how traumatizing that is because you felt like you played every emotion in your head about the right move you're about to make and where you're about to go with it, and then three months in, you get fired after leaving a job you were secure at for five years? I don't think that they understand the trauma. That they're, they're, they really don't give a fuck about your life, bro. It's everybody for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Got people on here crying and shit all over social media, man, because they're getting laid off and they 
so disingenuous and reading off fucking script. We know that's scripted. He ended. You hear the boy said what he said, and at this time we ended the call. He didn't want to. She, she had to say. Didn't give a fuck about her emotions, no her feelings, nothing. Anything we could do, nothing. Nigga said bye. Yo, access. What? Nigga. And excuse my language. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. um, we're gonna have to let you go. Okay. Uh, why though? I I had an amazing month. I met all of my goals. I had the most deals closed. I had the most. Well, Honestly, yeah, you're honestly. Paid, you're at the company party. I mean, I mean you started a grind line with the interns. So I, I was never told explicitly I couldn't do that. You couldn't have just assumed that maybe starting a full on hump line with 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 18 year olds. It's team building. It's team building. Idea. You were also singing, I might add, some very inappropriate karaoke. The song. <laughs> Blanks in Paris is is not one. I didn't even know that they had that for karaoke as an option. Was that the Kanye song, Niggas in Paris? Who can sing a song like that? And it is, and you were not one of them. So you only hire three. You only hire three people who can say that. That sounds like that sounds like a, a, an internal problem with discrimination. That sounds like the company okay, well, has. Yes, yes, there are only three people who can say it. But even if they did, I would not have them use the hard consonants like you were using when you sang it. That's how it's also, spelled. That's how it's spelled in the karaoke. Okay. I might yeah. add. You tried to punch Stephanie in the stomach. Well, Stephanie's a bitch, so <laughs> she's oh, pregnant. I I didn't, maybe I didn't know that she was pregnant. We have. Okay, this one's valid. <laughs> this one's valid, lady. If they talking about the Jay Z and Kanye song "Iggas in Paris," you can't say that at the company party. You started a grind train, and then you punched a pregnant woman in the stomach. This one is valid to the most utmost. Hi, <laughs> you feel me? Like I was rooting for you in the beginning, and you asked the question, and he very clearly answered. This is why you being let go. I don't care. I don't give a damn about your performance. Your shit could be. Your shit is off the charts. I'm gonna tell you right now. Your shit off the charts. But we don't want you here. You making people feel uncomfortable. And you punched a lady, a pregnant lady. That that right there is enough. <laughs> lady, you need to go. On. You can got fired. You need to go. You're going to get fired everywhere you go. You go to the company party doing that type of shit right there. I ain't going to lie to you. He valid. This one's a good one, guys. This was a valid layoff. Have you on security camera footage saying, I am doing this because you are pregnant, Stephanie. Well, and then you wound up your fist like Popeye and ran up to her. Dad, what? Dad, please don't do this. That is fucking <laughs> dad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, I'm, I'm saying all this. It's her father. The Zoom call. Okay, but we'll figure this out. What if I put you in marketing? What? Uh, Can I be a VP? I'm yeah. what? Oh, okay. That's yeah. I, I'm okay with that. Thank, thank. Okay. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't tell people. Okay. Totally. Okay. Right. Hold on, okay. man. Is this shit real? I love you. And benefits will go through the end of March. And following that, you will be offered a severance package. I guess I just really want to express that this is not a great business practice to hire someone with a new initiative and then decide that the funding is not there for their role. Damn. Um, yeah. It's really dehumanizing. And I know that's not you two's decision, but if you could pass that up the chain, I'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. She ain't gonna pass up no damn chain. Last night at like 10 o'clock, I got a calendar invite from the COO of my company with just me, the CEO, and him copied on it. So a three person meeting. I have no idea what this is about. Um, my first suspicion is that I'm getting fired. I don't know, but I haven't had any warnings before about my performance or anything. So that's crazy. Nobody is getting, nobody's getting warned about their performance, but they know the layoff is coming just because of how the weird vibes are. Now, check this out. Do you guys know that a lot of these companies, when they, like, they're they're making money, right? So when they land some of these people off, do you know they'll go put that same job back on Indeed or wherever the the, uh, the uh, companies put their job advertisements and they'll put it on there for uh, less money just because they don't want to pay that person the amount of money they got hired for? 
So it's easier to hire somebody else in that position and pay them less money because they think that's a lot of money, but they don't know it's actually 10000 than the person that just got laid off was making. Yeah, they doing that. You know what I'm saying? They doing that. They just not laying it off and lying to you saying that the position is cut, it's done, we can't afford the position. But they go, bro, they act like you can't go on Indeed and see them repost the shit for $10,000 cheaper than what you're doing. So then in your mind, you're like, okay, that was a real reason. Y'all don't want to fucking pay me. Y'all want to get a new person in there and offer them less money. And of course they're going to take it. They're looking for a job. And then they figuring, I'll just work my way through it. And then I'm going to ask for a raise uh, eight months from now if I do a good job. Then then you're going to get laid off. And they're going to another person come there and make less money. Come on, man. That's what these jobs are doing, in case you didn't know. Everybody get laid off. Most of the time, I ain't going to say most of the time, but a lot of the time, it's because they're going to repost that position for less money, man. You didn't know, now you know. Really odd to get a calendar invite out of the blue from the CEO and COO. Yeah, that's weird. For the <laughs> following morning. I'm about to join the Zoom meeting, and I'm going to film. Joining. And it's only 15 minutes long. Hello. Three hey minutes. Hi. How are you guys? Well, honestly, I really enjoyed my time working with you guys. You all have been awesome to work with, I think, the past nine months. Um, yeah, just overall really grateful for this experience and wish you guys the best. Thank you, guys. You're not going to, why did you record the call? What are you going to do if you pass for that? Guess I'm a full-time influencer now. So it happened. I got laid off. No, I'm like dead ass. Like, I don't know why I'm laughing. I just don't know how to act. <laughs> just no, got no, a meeting no. invite with my manager and the HR. I searched up like things to ask, like what do people usually ask when they get laid off. So I feel like I was pretty prepared for that exact moment. Kind of weird to see like my manager being like super professional and really not showing any emotions. It honestly feels like a breakup. That's one sided. I didn't lose access to everything like right away. I have all my benefits until like end of August. And then my severance starts after that. I honestly don't know who got laid off or like which teams got laid off. I think it's still happening this week. When this happened, I just really didn't know like who I should call if I should message my coworker. I literally couldn't think of anyone to like run to. I didn't tell my parents yet. I always tell them by the time this is uploaded. I hope the job market is just not trash right now. Obviously, this is the first time it's happened to me. This is my first job. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I definitely should have worked on my portfolio, but I didn't. Someone else is in there. I'm getting fired. Oh my god, I'm getting fired. Hello. Good morning, Dad. Good the morning, switch how are crazy. you? Fine, thank you. I asked who I think you know to so join us uh, for this call. She is our HR representative. Mm -hmm. We've got some updates we'd like to share with you this morning. Okay. So as you know, we have been working with B to uh, help us identify the best way forward for mm -hmm. this, this last period of time. And while we originally believed that we would be integrating with we've instead determined that it was a best for us to refocus the agency to an independent agency and in doing so we've initiated a buyback of it mm -hmm. unfortunately as you may know the lack of growth and the decline in our client revenue has negatively impacted our business beyond mm -hmm. what we can sustain mm -hmm. and it's forced us to make what are very difficult decisions mm -hmm. um, to eliminate roles within the agency. And this includes the elimination of your role in making today the last day. Please know that it was a very difficult decision. You may be full of the last couple of years and we have the most respect and what we've done as what we've given. I just want to over to you so she can take you through some of the next steps. Email will be coming up shortly. And you know, once you get the chance to review and look everything over, please let me know and I'm happy to answer any and all questions you may have. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Heather. I wish you the best. Thank you, too. Bye. Okay. So, the goals of uh, these videos, man, know what's going on in the world. Know what's going on all around you, you feel me? So you can make the necessary adjustments, bro. 
Don't ever go into any job thinking that that's going to be your end all be all. Going to that motherfucker like you could be fired every day so you have a plan every day. You know what I mean? Don't go in there making friends. Don't go in there making enemies, but don't go in there making friends. Show up, do your job, get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Have your long-term goal. Even if it's like, okay, you got that job. Okay, do three months out. You should leave your head up for three months. Three months out. If they laid me off, I'm good. I saved up such and such. Boom, I put me in the stock market. I got crypto. You know what I'm saying? I got a side hustle of, of being influenced on TikTok, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then you make it past that three months, do another one. So you got that, you got that turn to that six months. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go into these jobs. Bro, you see what they're doing? Like, this is what I'm saying. This shit's all over 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 social media. There's no way you... I'll, even me looking at my job, like, bro, the way the comedy is going, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody could be laid off. Companies could downsize because they lose a hell of money. Nobody's uh, immune. That's how I'm looking at it. So I'm going to be prepared. You know what I'm saying? So I hope people watching these videos are not cocky or just thinking not my job because they got it really good right now. But then you'll end up like the people that think they got it really good and you'll end up on social media crying, getting uh, laid off on a Zoom call because they want to go pay somebody else less money to do that same position that you in. Which is probably what's going to happen to this lady too. Her, they saying they got eliminated. But if they could bring somebody to do her job and pay them a third of what she was making, they're probably going to do that to you know help them out so they can then move start moving forward again. So, yeah, man, listen, tap in the comment section, man. Let's talk about it. Um, let me know if it's happened to you. This is day, day to day, life to life shit, man, real shit, man. You got to be prepared. Um, don't get stuck in a box. Don't put all your eggs in a basket, man, in one basket. You got to diversify yourself. Man, this this is this is the world we're living in right now. Nothing is guaranteed. The job, I don't I even know, as long as you show up, you're getting paid, but it ain't guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is guaranteed. You got to have multiple streams of something going on. So when something happens to one, cool, we got another one, another one, another one, another one. That's, that's just what it is. No more one job staying there for 56 years. I don't even know why we want to do that anyway. That shit's bullshit. So I hope you get some of these videos. If you did, tap in in the comment section. Like the video, share the video. Get it to as many people you want. Let's laugh about it because it is our pain, but it's real life shit. We're going to pick ourselves up. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it pushing. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck the middle, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. It's your boy, Fushik. I'm going uh, to tap in with you guys in the next video. We're about to shoot that right now because we turned it up. Like I said, shout out to everybody that's been uh, messing with the channel heavy. I appreciate you guys. Um, and we're going to keep turning it up, man. My grind don't stop. And I'm, I'm grinding like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no job. You feel me? That's what we on. Hope you're doing the same. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Gone.